Hey everybody, today we're going to talk about ratios and rates. Okay, so a ratio is just a comparison of two quantities using division. And so I can write things like this. Three-fourths, that is a ratio, three to four. You can write it like this, where it actually just says three to four. And this is red, three is two fourths. I'm sorry, three is to four. Okay, so a rate is a ratio with two quantities that have different units. So 60 miles in two hours. That would be a rate. Um, you could say something like um, 15 gallons in um, four minutes. Okay? So... Then we have what's called the unit rate. So when you reduce a, when you reduce the denominator down to one, that's called the unit rate. Now we don't usually use 60 miles in two hours. We would reduce that to 30 miles in one hour, which is better known as 30 miles per hour. Okay. With this one, we would divide the four in there. So what would that be? That would be. Um, three and three quarters. Uh, let's see. Yeah, three and three fourths. Three and three fourths gallons per minute. Okay. So, or 3.75 gallons per minute. Okay. There are 45 males and 60 females in a subway car. The car travels at 2.5 miles in five minutes. Okay, so I, there's a couple things here. The first is find the ratio of the males to females. So that's pretty easy. 45 males, 60 females. Okay, now it says the ratio, and it, whatever comes first goes on top, whatever comes second goes on the bottom. Now this can be reduced because 15 will go into both of those, it'll go into 45 three times, it'll go into 64 times. And so we say the ratio of males to females is three to four. Okay, now we want to find the speed of the subway car. It travels 2.5 miles in five minutes. Okay, now we can reduce that, okay, uh, so that we get a one minute on the bottom. So we divide this by five, we divide that by five, that's going to be 0.5 miles. Okay, so we would say that this is 0.5 miles per minute. All right, moving right along. The ratio table shows the cost of different amounts of artificial turf. Find the unit rate in dollars per square foot. So, number of square feet, uh, cost per square foot. Okay. So, if this is linear, then we should be able to choose any one of those uh, to use. Um, but a lot of times these things are not linear, so what does that mean? That means usually when you buy more of something, you get it at a cheaper price. But if you took any one of these, 100 divided by 25 would be um, 4. 400 divided by 100 would be 4. 1,600 divided by 400 is 4. 6,400 divided by 16 is 4. They're all the same. So the unit rate in dollars per square foot. So what that means is we want the dollars on top, okay, and the feet on the bottom, square feet on the bottom, which is what we did here. So this is going to be $4 per square foot. We write it like that. So a pretty simple one. You just really got to pay attention to what the rate is. Okay, that's the trick. Pay attention to what the rate is. Okay, so the graph shows the speed of a subway car. Find the speed in miles per minute. Okay, compare the speed to the speed of the subway car in the first example. Okay, so we're looking at this one here. We've got a couple points on here. We've got the point um, one half, one fourth. Now, since this is time, um, let's see. Uh, this is time along the bottom, so that's the x-axis, 
and then this is the distance in miles. So this, uh, in miles per minute, so this went a quarter mile in a half a minute. Okay, um, so we can go ahead and um, divide that, which uh, is, this would be one fourth times two over one, which is two over four, which is one half. So this went a half a mile per minute. And I could have chose the other point, three, one and a half. What happens if I do that one? Let's take a look at that. So we'll take this and kind of make some room here. So what if I took the other one, which would be a three, one and a half. Okay, so that would be one and a half miles um, in three minutes. Okay, well you could probably see, and now I could I could make this an improper fraction, three halves divided by three over one, which is three halves times one third, which uh, is gonna be three over six, which is one half again. So again, it would be one half a mile per minute. So it didn't matter which point I chose, I got the same answer. Now you want to compare that to the speed of the subway car in the first example. So we got to go back here to uh, this one. It was traveling at a half of a mile per minute. So it's the same. It's exactly the same. This was a half a mile per minute as well. Yep. Okay. So you mix a half a cup of yellow paint for every three quarter cup of blue paint to make 15 cups of green paint. How much yellow paint and blue paint do you use? Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take uh, a half a cup of yellow to three quarters of a cup of blue. Okay, so we're going to divide that. We're dividing fractions, so this is one-half times four-thirds, which would be four over six, which is two-thirds. Okay, so we've got a ratio of uh, two to three for the paint. Okay, so if we want to make 15 cups of green paint. Uh, we want every two cup, we want out of every five cups, we want two of it to be yellow. Okay, so we want two to be yellow. We want three to be blue. Okay, so 15 cups. Uh, <clears throat> so that's five parts. Okay, and so we'd have two yellow three blue, two yellow, three blue, two yellow, three blue. So that would be six cups of yellow and nine cups of blue. And that makes a total of 15 cups of paint. So this would be yellow, this would be blue. How much yellow paint and blue paint do you use to make 20 cups of green paint? Well, it's going to be the same ratio, 2 to 3. Okay, so we can do this a little different way this time. We have the ratio of 2 to 3, and we want to have um, 20 cups of green paint. So that's going to be um, out of 5 parts. We're going to have 4 sets of 5 parts. So we can multiply this by 4, we can multiply this by 4, we're going to get 8, and we're going to get 12, okay? So I think this is probably a little bit easier way to do it than this, but that was the two methods that we used for um, keeping a ratio. So this is going to be my yellow paint right here, is going to be 8 cups, and my blue paint is going to be on the bottom using 12 cups. 
So you can do it by addition or you can do it by multiplication. Okay, so we're going to do problems 1 through 43 odd in class tomorrow. I look forward to seeing you guys, and have a great evening.